Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what is coming your way in love and who you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So if this is not your story, check out the Sagittarius playlist in the description box. Tons of videos there for your sign. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius, for Angel's Guides. What's coming their way in love spirit for Sagittarius? What can Sagittarius expect in love? What can Sagittarius expect? Okay, we have Between Worlds and No Place Like Home. Mm. So Between Worlds is kind of like being at a threshold. You're not quite through. The transition is not completely over. And no place like home is somewhere that you feel comfortable. It's your safe space, your comfort space. You know, it's where you feel most at home. So I feel like when I see these two energies together, it's almost like someone is somewhere comfortable, but might be going through a transition. We'll see if that if that's if that's what that is in a second here. It could also be that someone is leaving home, right, in a transition um, at a threshold before making a move away from a place that feels like home, or it could be the opposite. Maybe someone hasn't felt like they found their home, right? And so they're kind of, you know, and I mean this in like, in relation to love and relationships, right? Because this is a love reading. So let's see, what else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know, Spirit? For Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius. What can they expect in love? Sudden realization. So someone's having clarity, truth, or an epiphany. Some sort of a realization that's bringing new clarity to someone and yeah difficult decision so difficult decisions reminding me of this between worlds energy if i could pick up the card like a normal person um i feel like someone's at like a fork in the road and this could be you or your person i'm saying someone because this could be something that you're doing that's affecting your love life or something that's coming towards you Okay, so let's see. What does, what, what does the tarot say? Spare, what is coming Sagittarius's way in love? What can Sagittarius expect regarding love? What messages of guidance do you have for Sagittarius? What can they expect in love? Okay, let's see. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Why am I picturing two people looking at you? <laughs> That's kind of how it looks in the spread. I feel like you're this Queen of Wands and you have these two Kings looking in your direction. Bottom of the deck is the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like this might be a reading where you have the choice between, you, you have to choose between two people. Let's see, what is going on here? Get some clarity, please, for Sagittarius. And I say that because the lovers is really a card about choice. Um, it could be, you know, interpreted as a true partner, someone that you see yourself in, someone, you know, soulmate energy, et cetera, et cetera. But the traditional meaning is duality and a choice. So let's see. Let's see what, the what we can clarify here. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles, okay. Two of Swords, yeah, there's like a choice here. 
a difficult decision that someone has waited to make. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. Maybe this is somebody that's waited in the wings a little bit. Maybe they've waited to make a move here. I keep thinking this is a person. The moon is at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. So again, it's almost like someone has maybe secret feelings or has hidden their feelings for you, hidden the fact that they're making a choice regarding you. Tell me about this queen of wands. Spirit, why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here? The world, wow, okay. What can you tell me about this Queen of Wands? The Ace of Swords. I'm getting like this Ace of Swords is this sudden realization, a clarity here, and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like you're going to be getting some sort yeah, and there's a Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're going to get some sort of message here, Sagittarius, where you're going to be required to make a choice, I feel. And it could even be a choice between stay where you are or try something new. Stay where you're most comfortable or try something new. I'm also getting like two messages from two different people. One is more direct than the other is what I'm getting here. They're both, they're both happening to you, but I feel like they're two different approaches is the energy I'm picking up here. Okay, tell me about this King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Lovers again, Gemini energy. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Fool. Hmm. I'm getting a story here. Tell me about the King of Swords, please, Spirit. One more, please. The Sun, okay. There's the King of Pentacles. This is what I'm seeing. I feel like for most of you, this is a decision you're gonna have to make between two different partners or two different people now this could be that you have two romantic partners coming forward and you have to decide what you want to do this could be that you're already with someone and you meet someone new and now you have to make a choice or this could be like you having to choose from like a partner and a friend a partner and a family member or something like that one person this is so specific, but this is just what I'm feeling strongly. One person is going to be very direct, very forward, and um, very like in your face. I feel it's this person. They're going to take a leap of faith with you. And then this person over here, there's some sort of like waiting, hesitation, indecision here. Let me find out what this Two of Swords is. Tell me about the Two of Swords, please. This person, I feel, knows about this person. Tell me about the Two of Swords. King of Wands. This is about taking action. Can I get one more for the Two of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here? Page of Wands. So this person is like hesitating here on shooting their shot. And there's the world. And then this other person is like, okay, well, while you're waiting around, I'm going to shoot my shot, basically. Or make some sort of move. I feel like this person doesn't have the courage that this person does. And, you know, you can also switch this. Like, remember when I was talking about how this could be between a partner and a family member? Maybe your family member is more like in your face about something. And this other person, your partner is not. One's confrontational, the other one avoids confrontation. Something like that. I also get the sense, too, that for some of you Sagittarius watching, this person is the person that you always wanted to be with, but they have not made their move. They have kept you waiting. Whereas this person, they're like this, let's go, let's start this. And you have to decide who you're gonna give a chance to. This is very juicy. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more about what's going on here. 
for Sagittarius. I feel like this is a very specific reading. It's obviously not going to resonate for everyone. So don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. Um, check out your moon uh, or your rising sign for additional messages. But I feel like this is the story. Like This is the, the energy here on the board. What, what else can you tell me about this situation spirit for Sagittarius? gift yeah you're gonna get an offer here there's mature man great fortune and thief and then wealthy man yeah there's two men and it does not have to be a man like a gender like a man that's a it could be a masculine energy and we all have masculine feminine energies in us etc etc um i feel like one of them is an actual offer and the other one is like not that good or one is more sneaky and hidden than the other one do you know what i mean <laughs> i feel like i might sound crazy here while i'm doing this reading but you're the you're the object you're the goal and you have like two people fighting over you that's kind of what i'm seeing here they're fighting for your attention um i feel like this is like a, a gift to get your attention Can I get one more, please? One more insight or energy for Sagittarius spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Sagittarius? What do we need to know for Sagittarius, please? Yeah, attraction and unrequited love. So this attraction card is kind of like that privilege, privileged lady energy I would just put down someone you're the goal you're the prize you're the one that people these two people are fighting over but i feel like this unrequited love energy is telling me that one of these offers is more appealing than the other for you or someone here one of these two is worried that their feelings are not like the feelings are not mutual their offer their love is not going to be reciprocated Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different for you because there's two energies here that I'm seeing. Um, and typically now I would have just asked Spirit, you know, what do we need to know about the person that you're dealing with? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these two kings here. I'm going to take you out of here. <laughs> and I'm just going to ask Spirit individually for these, like more insight into each of these energies individually. So let me put these here. I feel like these two are dueling it out <laughs> and again it just these two don't have to both be romantic interests for you one can be a family member one can be a past energy you know take it as it resonates for you if this is your story all i know is that one of these their approach is different than the others angels guys tell me more about these two energies here hang on i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> all right for sagittarius spirit more insights please clarity on these two energies spirit tell me about the king of pentacles what is their energy when it comes to sagittarius what is their energy I'm ready to open up. Okay, tell me about the King of Swords. What is their energy towards Sagittarius? The King of Swords, please. King of Swords. I made a mistake. Ooh. Interesting. So this person, I feel you might already have some sort of a history with. This person, I feel they haven't fully told you their feelings. There's something about their feelings that's hidden. Maybe they are ready to speak up or open the lines of communication. Maybe they haven't reached out. Um, I feel like this person, you have already kind of a little bit of a history. That's why they're being a little bit more bold, I feel. Tell me more. Tell me more about these energies, please. Tell me more about these energies. 
Tell me more about this King of Pentacles spirit. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the King of Pentacles? Masculine, divine masculine energy. This is the Emperor. Tell me about the King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords, please. Grounded, balanced, and rational. There you are, Sagittarius. Interesting. I feel like these two, this one, you know, it's going to sound crazy, but you know, I just have to go with what feels right. I think these two energies are what this, these individuals want to appear as. This one's trying to appear as a divine masculine energy, someone that has it together. King of Pentacles, right? Very grounded, but very balanced, very rational. And this person, it's almost like this person, this King of Pentacles, knows that the King of Swords is this divine masculine energy. And then this King of Swords knows that the King of Pentacles is this grounded, balanced, rational energy. It's like they know about each other. And I don't know, I feel like I'm sensing a little bit of a game here. Not to say that these two are playing with you, but I'm, I'm sensing almost like there is a tug of war happening here because they know of the other person. Please let me know in the comments if this is making sense to you because I feel it's very specific. <laughs> okay, so let me ask about these two's, their intentions here. Can I get some insight, please, about the intentions of these two individuals? If I could shuffle, that would be okay. My deck doesn't want to shuffle. What are their intentions? What is the intention here with the King of Pentacles? What are their intentions? What are their intentions, Spirit, towards Sagittarius? Nine of Swords. Okay. See, this one's very hesitant, fearful. They're waiting instead of acting. Can I get one more for the King of Pentacles, please? What are their intentions here? Eight of Cups. Okay. Tell me about the King of Swords. What are their intentions? What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? King of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Four of Wands. There's the two of wands. Again, you have a choice here between two different paths. I'm starting to think that this person is fearful that you're going to walk away and maybe go to this person or go with, on their side or listen to them or be influenced by them. This king of swords, I feel, wants to reunite with you, make things right with you, have something balanced, stable with you. And so you're going to have to choose between these two. And they're going to make it difficult for you because I feel like these two offer two very different things. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Please let me know if this resonated for you in the comments because I feel it's a very specific reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.